Hi, in this video we are going to see how to create and use vApps in VMware Cloud Director. A vApp is a collection of one or more virtual machines which can be deployed in the virtual data center of the tenant organization. A vApp can provide compute services, storage and network connectivity for a set of VMs. To create a vApp, log into your organization as a user with rights to create a vApp. Select the data center in which you want to create your vApp. In the menu under Compute section, click on vApp. There are three ways to create a new vApp. You can create it from scratch, create a vApp from OVF or OVF file or create it from a template. Let's create a vApp from OVF file. Click on New and select Add vApp from OVF file. Browse the file from your local system and upload. Review the details and then accept licenses. Provide the name to the vApp. Configure resources such as computer name, storage policies. Remember these storage policies are pre-configured by your service provider. Select the virtual machine's networking properties. You can add networks to the VM at a later stage also. Add properties such as SSH keys, default gateway, DNS, etc. These configurations are not mandatory. Review or customize the hardware resources. You can select the networks to which this vApp is connected now or add them later. Review the configuration and click finish. Let's create a vApp from scratch. Select new vApp and provide name of the vApp. You can add a virtual machine now or later. Add the VM name. You can create a VM from the template or add a new VM. Once the VM is added, Finish by clicking Create. Let's see the third way to create the vApp, that is create a vApp from Catalog. Select the vApp template and provide the name to the vApp. You can configure the runtime and storage leases. Select per VM and per disk storage policies. Configure compute policies per VM. Review or customize hard disk for each VM in the vApp. Select the network to which this vApp will be connected. You can configure VM networking as well. These configurations can be added later also. You can add DNS, default gateway and SSH keys. Review the configuration and finish. Once the vApp is created, let's check what are the operations that can be performed on this vApp. You can access the virtual machines that are part of this vApp or launch VM consoles once the vApp is powered on. In start and stop order, if you want a VM to be powered on after another VM, you can change the boot order and also add boot delay. You can review the network topology of the VMs of this vApp. You can add network to this vApp to which its VMs will be connected. More about vApp networks is covered in a different demo. You can share this vApp with other users with appropriate rights. You can add metadata for this vApp. You can monitor tasks and events. Let's see what other managing operations are available. You can power on, power off, reset or suspend the vApp. You can renew the lease of the vApp, create a snapshot and download it. You can move or copy this vApp to a different VDC. You can change the ownership of the vApp and share it with other users in the organization. You can add a VM or a network to this vApp. You can create a template for, from this vApp. You can also edit the badges and delete a vApp. Let's power on the vApp. This will power on all the VMs in the vApp. You can also view or access the vApp and perform operations from the vApp card. If you wish to delete this vApp, Power it off and then delete it. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.